Massachusetts, I applied to a lot of medical schools and almost none of them had a global health program specifically for medical students. I chose the Global Health Academic Concentration because it offers a lot of opportunities for really guided mentorship as well as the opportunity to participate not only in research but also in clinical settings in global health. The thing that attracted me to the Global Health Academic Concentration was that it gave me a really focused opportunity to explore global health in med school. Um, I think it's something that a lot of schools have pieces of, but global health at UCSD is really focused. Global Health Academic Concentration provides students with very generous funding um, to do a global health research project after the summer of your first year of medical school. So you're able to travel abroad to many different continents across the world depending on what you're interested in. And then when you are in uh, a later part of your medical education, um, you're able to do a clinical rotation with funding as well. And so there's a variety of opportunities for you to get involved. The Global Health Academic Concentration is a special program within the School of Medicine that aims to prepare students for a career in global health by teaching them about disparities in healthcare across a global setting and giving them opportunities to engage meaningfully with partners across international sites. It gives medical students an opportunity to go into a place they've never been before and to use their ears and learn what they, is most important in those areas by talking to people there about what they see as the major problems. And then from that, you can learn uh, how to work with them to bring the skills you have to solve those problems. Well, I had the privilege of going to a small town in Ethiopia. I was able to contribute to the research about understanding the causes of death in children under the age of five at the local hospital in Hadar, Ethiopia, and work with the local population to host some health education for people at the local hospital as well. Having the chance to work with members of the Somali community this summer, for example, has introduced me to the way that mental health concepts don't quite mean the same things cross-culturally. And through talking with people about that, you can develop a really different sense of what they might need to help them have a better mental health situation. Through this program, I was able to go to Maputo, Mozambique between my first and second year of medical school. Uh, during that time, I was doing research on determining rates of maternal death and postpartum hemorrhaging at one of the largest hospitals in Maputo. Not only did it help me learn about research, but it also taught me my own life skills about adaptability and flexibility. So the summer after my first year of medical school, I traveled abroad to spend a summer in Jordan, uh, working with Syrian refugee families, specifically focusing on histories of trauma, in many cases torture, assessing depression and resilience. And it was a wonderful opportunity for me to develop my own research project and implement it. In the summer between first year and second year, students spend six to eight weeks doing a research rotation at one of our primary global health sites where they learn to be a part of a bi-directional research team conducting research that will affect global health issues. During the third and fourth years of medical school, students have the opportunity to receive mentorship from faculty with careers in a diverse arena of global health opportunities. And then during the fourth year of medical school, students have an opportunity to participate in an elective, doing a clinical rotation at a global health site. So by the time they finish, they've really seen the whole gamut of public health. Many of them have a chance to do research projects that they carry on throughout the entire time they're here at UCSD and then take on with them as part of the foundation for their career. This program specifically allows me to explore different areas. Uh, it, it gives me access to a lot of different mentors and, and mentors are so important for your growth as a medical student and eventually as a physician because these physicians are helping you walk through your journey and find your own path. I've learned from physicians and researchers that we really can make an impact. And by having mentorship from them, you get really great guidance about what your career can really look like as a physician to have an impact globally, as well as locally with refugee populations and the underserved here in San Diego. This program offers opportunities for real, deep, meaningful mentorship from international colleagues and from our faculty who have dedicated their lives to global health and to addressing inequities in global health. So something that I've really appreciated about the, the Global Health Academic Concentration has been that it really focuses on the ethical issues of how we conduct global health. And I think the program really takes ownership over that and addresses you know, how do we establish better dynamics and really build community partnerships to advancing global health in a way that actually serves the people that we want to help. 
One thing that's unique about our program is that we are so close to the border that we have real opportunities to do global health locally. Students can do global health on their weekends and evenings and engage longitudinally with partners just across the border through all four years. I think you should join this program if you want access to world-class researchers, world-class opportunities in the healthcare service, you will be at the intersection with the border of Mexico, which is global health at your backyard. The opportunities are endless here, um, both learning about global health and, and actually going out and doing it.